Hi, Carol here, and I'm off to another card. And I told you I was going to do a card using my metallic gold, so here we go. What I did was I took a piece of acetate right here, and I cut it down to the size of the stamp I'm going to use. And this stamp is by Hero Arts. It's the tree stamp. Uh, it doesn't have a particular name, but there it is there. And I really like this stamp, so it's going to go on my acetate. And then I cut out two pieces the same size in the, um, spot. this is that uh, brown sugar. And I cut that out. And it's exact same size as whatever acetate. So whatever size stamp you're using, I just cut it out to be exact. So if you don't have this stamp and you want to do another one, cut your acetate accordingly. This one was cut at five and three quarters by four and a half. So then you want to add two pieces of whatever cardstock you want for the back and the inside, the same measurement. Okay, five and three quarters by four and a half. And then you want to have I am going to use this cute little owl stamp, and that's by Hero Arts, and that's going to go on the bottom. And I'm going to do this with uh, Stampin' Up uh, embossing, early espresso embossing powder. I'm going to use the little bird stamp here in the uh, detail silver, and the rest of it is in metallic gold. I'm going to use my stickles and I want to show you something here quickly because this card is going to take a while because it takes a while for the acetate to dry. And the acetate that I use by the way is what I get at the um, it's the 3M transparent film. And then I'm using the Pure Luxury uh, Pure Ivory Heavy Base Weight Gina K Designs uh, paper and I cut these strips to measure my small stamp, which is right here. And actually a bit bigger. This is going to be two and a half by uh, four and three quarters. You need three of these, two and a half by uh, three and four and three, three quarters. So I have three of them. And then this image that I'm going to stamp on here, I want to have three layers. So I just did this, the craft paper, and then the Gina K. And we'll sh I'll show you what we're going to do. And then on my stickles, I am using gold, cinnamon, and copper. And what I do is I just put a little bit of the stickles so I can see the color. Can you see that? I dab it on the end because I have an um, organizer that they stick in like this from stamp, uh, stamp and Storage. So that way I can just see the ends and I can see what color they are. Just a little hint there. Okay, let's get going at this. I took my stays on. It tells you to drop droplets and really shake this well. And then you drop, I dropped eight little drops. I took my little scraper, I scraped it out, and hopefully I did enough. So let's just press on and see if we can get this card done in a reasonable amount of time so I can do it in one take. All right, so first we're going to stamp this in the gold. Now I saw um, Jennifer McGuire do this. Not this particular one, but an acetate using silver stays on. And that's where I got the idea from. And I'm telling you, oh my, this is beautiful. I can tell just by, it's juicy, it's gold. You can't ask for anything better. Oh yes. <laughs> oh my, really. It's gorgeous. And then I took the inside liner. I put a little glue dot, a uh, Stampin' Up glue dot in there to hold my case in so that it doesn't come off every time I shut it. Okay, so let's get going because this takes a while to dry. So we are going to want to, it's pretty easy to measure this actually because you did your, I'm gonna come down slowly. 
like so. And then I'm going to add some pressure like this. And this is really cute because I did a tree background uh, because this is like a little owl on a limb. Really cute. And I don't get to use these stamps at all. I tell you, I think I got, I have 10 boxes full of, well, more than 10 boxes full of uh, block stamps. And I'm going to start using them for sure. Okay, so I have that down. And then you can just pick it up like that. Now, is that not gorgeous? Look at this. Can you see that on there? And it's going to take a little bit to dry. I may help it along just on a low speed for a minute, just a second actually, just so that, uh, and then I'll use some stays on cleaner, stamping up stays on cleaner with this. And because it's acetate, you don't want to get too close, of course. That is beautiful. I am going to get some silver for sure. I don't want to touch it. I just have to trust that it's drying. There we are. We'll see how that goes. And we'll set that aside for a minute. Now, I'm going to take one of these pieces of brown, of the uh, sponge, the sugar, brown sugar, and I'm going to use the La France stamp set. And I am going to do it in Versamark. And then I'm going to use the um, Early Espresso, which means I'm going to need a coffee filter. Here we go. So let's take our Versamark. This is my oldest one, as you can see, but it still has a lot of life left. There we are, and let's put this down, make sure it's right side right. Place that on there like so, and I will just take one of my plates for my vagabond or my big shop plate. I don't know which one this is, and there you have it. Press down, and whoa, get it up there. Early espresso. Grab the corner, middle. There we are. This is good. I get three videos out today. Videos aren't hard. It's not the video taking, it's the downloading that takes so long. It's crazy. There we are. And you have to be careful you don't dip this in like I just did. There we are. And we will heat set this.
yes it does here on the way there we go it's no use talking because you can't hear me over this See a little place I missed. Try this one. Don't want to miss anything here. This is going on the back, so we'll let that dry for a minute. And let's take this image here, and we will where's the mark? Where'd my first mark go? You can see this has a bit of stays on. Okay, let's put this on, try and get it in the middle. There we are. Excellent. Um, I'm going to do this in silver. Do that in silver. I think I will. That looks nice. Good choice. Yes. And I already went over it with my powder from EK. Beforehand. Notice how I get more quiet towards the end of the day. I actually hit my head on my microwave door right in the corner of my temple. Oh, that hurt. Today, it gave me a little bit of a headache. <laughs> okay, this one is not... That's what I find happens with the stamping up. Once it gets hot, it doesn't want to work. Okay, let's try this. See how I always have things in twos? This is why. Here we go. I use my Marvy.
Wow. Set of the heat up fast. Look at that. Way to go, Marby. Okay. So let's start putting this together. Nice and dry. Isn't that gorgeous? You'll see it in a minute once I get this on. Okay. So this piece, even though it's going sideways, um, that's okay because it's just going to be the underneath part. Okay, I'm going to use my quarter inch. ATG gun to save on my half inch ATG gun means I have two of these for the same reason if one of them is low I have another and then this is going down in here like this So you're just going to take your acetate, lift it up. Oh, don't do it down yet. Yikes. It's okay. Get it up there, Carol. Uh, don't I do this all the time? There. Okay, let's turn it around. And I'm going to give it just a bit of this one. And this doesn't matter because one is going on the back. And this is probably the reason why. There we go. Get it inside, tuck it right up. Like that. Close it. Like that. That's what you're going to see. And then you can take your bone folder nice crisp. Don't go way up to where your image is. There we are. Can you see that? Okay. Then turn it over. See all this block? We are going to cover that. this and this and now you're going to take one of these this is such thick cardstock so you're going to put this down right here and this is how you're going to measure for the outside okay so I want it down here like this right there okay So take it up like this, and I want it at the bottom, so you can see the script. There we are. And then you're going to take one more, and you're going to glue it like so. Watch. This. That's why they all have to be measured the same. that down then just go like this over top with your sticky side up like that then put this down like this that way when you open it it's like that then you're going to take this and add it to here we're almost finished and it's a really pretty card that on and layer it. Like 
like this. That's my layer with the silver and then we'll do the stickles there and it's going on here. And that's where I'm going to put this down on top. Like this. Okay. Right like this. This is where you can you know where to put your like this and it's such a pretty easy card like wasn't that easy and the gold oh my it stands up beautifully okay let's put that Ooh. blush so you have a nice white edge like that let me just show you here There's your card so far, nice and flush. You open it up and you get to write your sentiment in here. And I think that was not hot enough there. I'm gonna give that just another one with this. My Stampin' Up! It was not hot enough, I don't think. Just a second. Let me get this while this is getting hot. Get some of this off. There we are. I can see that it didn't uh, heat up there. Oh, much better. Some of the uh, while it's still hot give it a little bit of just to heat it up a bit like that then quickly grab your bone folder like this just on the top don't go over the stays on there look at that isn't this gorgeous card? Like that. And then I'm going to add the stickles. Yikes. Quickly. Oh, it just adds to the look. The gold. With the gold stays on. So pretty. I want to thank my subscribers right now. I, I saw I got another subscriber. Thank you so much for joining my blog. It means so much to me. Um, this has to dry as well. Then I'm going to stamp a flower image on the inside where I write my sentiment, just in case I run out of time. Uh, I'm going to take the cinnamon, that's my dog's name, cinnamon, as everybody knows, my bull mastiff. Oh, this is such a pretty card. Jennifer McGuire has a lot of inspiring cards. Hers was really different than this one. I think I'll just do the hair here. One, two, three, like so. Look at this. I just want you to see this. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to grab a, I think I'm going to take a little butterfly actually. No, I'm going to take a flower when I'm done. And I'll do a flower on the inside. So there you have it, my friends. We did it in less than 29 minutes. That's the outside, 
there's your gold stays on you have to get some you'll absolutely love it you open it up I'll write my sentiment up here and then I'll put a nice image down on the bottom then the back of your card is nice and flush you can't ask for anything more except for maybe a twine bow yes I think this is perfect nice little twine bow right there love it Let's grab a glue dot and we are finished this was a nice card day you have yourself a blessed weekend hmm right there on the acetate okay let's see how that looks before we call it another card oh I had my little bird quickly let's get my bird on there um, I will stamp it my bird in gold in the gold I forgot Yes. There we are. Let me get them on there. That is so pretty. There we go. Okay. There's our card. That's really nice because I think what I'll do is I'll give it a little bit of gold on the eye. Look at that. I'm stalling for time. Not really. I have one minute. I'll give it a little copper cinnamon eyeball. Like that. And we have ourselves a stays on metallic gold acetate card. There. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'll finish the inside and post it up on my blog.